Hey guys, it's the review of Pac-Man Custom ROM for its TC1. So Pac-Man ROM is a mixture of three different custom ROMs, Sanazen Mod, Paranoid Android and AOKP. Meaning, you will have all the features of Sanazen Mod and Paranoid Android and some features from AOKP. Pac-Man ROM is based on the latest Android version, Android version 4.3 Jelly Bean. So you will have all the features of Android 4.3. You also have restricted profiles option available here. As there is no Sense 5 here, this ROM feels much faster and smoother. It's much faster than before. There is no lag at all. In this custom ROM, you can just double tap the home button to use it as a menu button or just hold it for a while to open recent app menu. And in recent app menu, you have extra features here for music. Uh, extra shortcuts here for music, calculator, camera, driving mode, and many more. In Pac-Man ROM, you will have you have the hybrid properties uh, from Paranoid Android, meaning you can just switch from tablet mode to tablet mode to stock UI. Tablet mode is like the Nexus 10. You will have the notification. You will have the notification drawer below and. Everything will be like in Nexus 10. The tablet mode is like on the Nexus 7. I'm currently on the tablet mode. And the stock UI is like on the Nexus 4. Here you have extra features. Just like in application, you can just change um, the settings, the layout for any particular application. Meaning you can just change the, change the size, the pixel density of any particular application and also change the navigation bar color, the status bar color, the status icon colors for any particular application to match it. So that's a cool feature this application provides. From the interface option here you can just change you can just change the status icon color. You can just choose whichever color you want for the icon on the status bar here and there are many more color options you can choose from so you can just customize it on your own way from paranoid android there's another interesting feature called hello so hello is an interactive way to look at a notification so if you receive any notification it will open in a window like this and you can just do whatever you want with that notification and just close it and hang and do whatever you were doing so that's a cool feature and with the hello application here you can just choose to pin various applications so you can just open that application in a window on top of your screen whenever you want and pie controls are also available here you have many more extra customizing features like you can choose to have a custom boot animation so that you can just you can also choose to have custom carrier level custom notification background and there are many other customizing features for lock screen and you can also enable the navigation bar and some extra advanced features for pi controls and halo you can also customize the status bar, just change the icon of various notifications. You can just choose between various icon options here. Uh, below here you have some gesture options that you can enable, so just check it out. Then you have some extra features for buttons, the LED notification light. So just check the Pac-Man settings on the settings menu and want something new on your phone then just give this custom ROM a try as there are many customizing features available which you can't find on any other custom ROMs. And if you don't like the look you can just change back to Sense5 anytime. Just give this ROM a try. If you don't know how to install it just check the link below in the description box. So that's all about this ROM. It's a great custom ROM for HTC One. If you have any query, just comment below and like us on Facebook and Twitter. And do subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.